its AI video is easy to use, but sometimes it's a real pain in the ass. One of the biggest issues, character consistency. All right, that intro was fun. This clip has me using Runway's lip sync, but it's the only clip. Everything else is 100% Sora. You give it a description, and suddenly your character has a different face, a missing tattoo, or worse, they don't even look remotely the same from shot to shot. And if you try using an existing person, forget about it. Sora shuts it down, even when the reference is its own image. It's frustrating, but there's a way to work around it. Here is my step-by-step -step method to write Sora prompts for consistent results. It's not perfect, but good enough for me. First, we got to follow Sora's suggested prompt format on the screen. Let's go. All right, listen. This is the most important part. I know this section is a little long, but bear with me. If you get these next three minutes, you'll have the key to making Sora stop screwing up your characters. Step one is standard, but we're taking it further. Sora wants a character description first, but we're forcing it to lock in a reference image from the first second. My best method? Several poses, different angles, and expressions of the same character all in one picture. I used a customized chat GPT and Dolly. You could go full Photoshop if you want. Me? I'm lazy. Hell, I even had ChatGPT write this script and another AI to read it. Now, this is how the method works. That, cut two. Phrase tells Sora to change scene or angle but maintain the character if the description matches the reference image. If you don't do this, Sora makes a guess, and guesses lead to inconsistencies. Now, let's talk about the actual character description. You want strong, simple identifiers, but not so detailed that Sora starts freestyling weird stuff. That second one? Ignored it or got confused? Instead of sticking to the look you want, it might invent extra details. You don't want that. To get a solid short description, look at Sora's perspective in the storyboard after dropping an image into the prompt. That's where it describes the scene in its own words. By pulling key details from that description and focusing on them, we can refine our character's look. And in this case, using the term hyper-realistic helps lock in the styling, ensuring consistency across shots. This sometimes takes some troubleshooting. Here are some examples where I had to tweak some of the ideas. Sometimes I'll put the image at the back if it's just not cutting like expected. In general, three out of four prompts get the character right. Troubleshoot. This is not a science, and nuances are a bitch. All right. Quick recap before we move to the rest of the prompt. One. Image. Two, cut two, three, simple descriptions. Four, troubleshoot weird AI. Next step. So ChatGPT and I wrote a ton more instructions, but honestly, that last minute was the core of it. And now, this video has officially outlasted my own attention span. So chapter whatever, let's just cut to the chase. After you've described the person based on how Sora sees them, go directly to describing the place, then the action, and last camera. That's it. That's the formula. Stick to that and you'll get consistent results every time. Big thanks to ChatGPT for doing all the heavy lifting and to Sora for, well, making my life both easier and harder at the same time and Hailuo for giving me a voice. This whole thing was inspired by Andy Riffith, so shout out to them for sparking the idea. If you made it this far, you're a legend. Likes help or subscribe, do whatever makes the algorithm happy, or don't, I'm not your boss. All right, go make some insane AI videos. See ya!